In chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime, there are many mysteries that are revealed and even more that arise. And most of those mysteries are actually about the hour of joy. Like, how did it begin? What caused it? Why was nobody there to stop it? And where were we? I mean, as in the player. And I'm gonna answer all of these questions and more in this video. So make sure to stay tuned. And also, before we get into the meat of the video, I would ask you guys to subscribe to the channel real quick because that helps me out a bunch and it boosts the video itself. So more people are gonna see it and I would really appreciate that and also you're gonna be able to see more of my videos as well So yeah, big thank to everybody who's just subscribed and everybody who is already subscribed I appreciate all of you guys and yeah, I'm not gonna get any more of your time. Let's get into the video Okay So in chapter 3 we are introduced to this tape that is called the hour of joy And it basically shows us the entire hour of joy or like some of it uh, through the CCTV cameras And there are some interesting details in there. So let's take a look at them So yeah, I found this tape on YouTube and it's by this guy, Yonotan Official, so credit to him for the video and let, let's just watch it. So, okay, so the first monster we see is Huggy Wuggy and he's standing in the same exact spot where we found him in chapter one and even his hand is like held up like this and we see a whole bunch of people what looks like to be like workers wearing vests and maybe some even regular people as well just looking at Huggy Wuggy. And then Huggy Wuggy comes to life. And kills these people one by one. Like, look at this. That's a dead body. That is that is really creepy. And he like runs after them and just, just destroys them. And the next video is in the game station from chapter 2. And this is Mommy Longlegs. And you can barely see her, but she's right here. And there's a whole bunch of people running away from her. So they already know that something's up and they're already running. <laughs> and here he, she gets somebody and then more people and like strings them up somewhere. And just throws them down and yeah that, that's really messed up and then after mommy we see what looks like to be a lot of tiny little creatures which i think are either the smiling critters or like one uh one of those like small toys like the buzz bee guy or the buzz cat or whatever it is it's the bee with mixed with the cat that 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 toy or i'm not sure but i think these are the smiling critters you can't really tell from the video, but you can just see like little tiny uh, figures. And it looks like the location is like the train station or something, or maybe the generator room. Like, but I I'm not sure what this location is, but it does look a bit familiar. So if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I'm like, I'm I I'm blanking on this location. It looks really familiar. I think these are the train tracks from what I can tell. So I guess this is the train station. But anyways. Next, we see the school and what looks like to be a whole bunch of Miss Delights that are following people. So this means that there were actually a whole bunch of teachers and every single Miss Delight was a teacher and all of them went rogue. And I wonder why we only saw one of them and not like all the rest. I wonder what happened to them. Maybe the prototype like ate them all or something like, like consumed them and made them part of himself. And are they all called Miss Delight or is just one of them Miss Delight? And the other ones have like different names because Miss Delight did talk about some Barb person that she was like friends with uh, in this line right here. The door opened to Today and I heard something enter my hall. Together, Barb and I found Catnap waiting. All this time, all this agony. So basically, yeah, her and Barb were waiting. So I'm guessing one of them is Miss Delight, another is Barb, and the rest have names as well. And I wonder what these names are. But anyways, next we see Kissy Missy go insane. And I have something to say about Kissing Misty as well, because there's another video of her during the Hour of Joy, but I'm gonna talk about that a little later right now. I just wanna finish this real quick. So the next toy we see is actually Boxy Boo from the Project Playtime. We, we've never seen him inside Poppy Playtime before. And this is really interesting. So that means that he was alive during the Hour of Joy and we might even see him still. But he basically does the same thing and attacks a bunch of people. And it looks like he's just in, in some sort of hallway. Like it's anybody's guess where that is, but Maybe in chapter 4 we will actually see Boxy Boo. That'll be pretty interesting. 
And next is Catnap, of course. And he is... And it looks like he's ravaging through the play care place. And there is a whole bunch of bodies once again. And, and Catnap's statue that was down when we were playing the game is also down still in this shot as well. So that means that it came down during the hour of joy. Or maybe somebody like didn't like Catnap and tried to get rid of him. And that is what caused the hour of joy. But yeah, and also Catnap looks normal in the video. Because I believe that Catnap doesn't actually change shape. But the gas that he extrudes basically makes you think that he becomes the scary monster but in reality well he is a scary monster but he just looks like regular catnap and the cctv camera doesn't really get affected by gas so through it we can see catnap as his usual self however another thing the prototype can affect cameras and equipment and stuff he can like alter that stuff as we know from the previous tapes so i'm guessing the prototype could alter these things or and maybe even the whole thing is altered because who was there to put all these videos together except except for the prototype. So maybe these videos are actually all lies and this is not actually what happened. That's like a very interesting theory to think about as well. And another question that arises is what happened to all the dead bodies? Like we can see in the video, there's a whole bunch of them like everywhere. And when we are playing the game, we don't see anything just like blood stains and stuff that, that is left. So what happened to the bodies? Well, we do know that the toys are organic and they need to eat something. So I guess all that stuff is just like free food food for them you know like a free buffet and they just ate everybody up and that is really creepy and i wonder what they ate for 10 years since the hour of joy because i don't think that there's enough food here for 10 years or like maybe they like rationed it or something like here you get the arm and i get the leg or something like that you know <laughs> but yeah i don't know surviving 10 years without food is crazy maybe there were other people who came to explore the poppy playtime co and they basically became meals for them as well because because I know, I know there's a lot of people that like going to like abandoned places and stuff and probably like it looks abandoned and a bunch of people go there and just go missing. That would be pretty plausible, honestly. But that doesn't answer the question, what led to the hour of joy even happening? Like we know that the prototype wanted to escape and all and that he can control all the toys, but why would he be so violent about it? Like why not just like quietly escape, you know, and just live his own life? And why even escape? If, if he's still there, he's still in the poppy playtime and he didn't escape then what was the point of the hour of joy just revenge well let's get back to kissy missy for that answer because there's actually a video about kissy missy that is that is happening during the hour of joy so let's watch that also really quick so this is the video and it's actually on the official mob entertainment channel and it hides a whole bunch of secrets as well like in the very beginning it says this tape contains unexpected footage tempered with by a third party destroyed tape and it says do not continue viewing this tape so so we know that the prototype can alter tapes and i believe that it's pretty self-explanatory so the prototype altered this tape so let's continue watching it so okay so this was supposed to be the bigger bodies relocation guide that train them new employees i'm guessing into how to relocate the toys and it looks like it was being recorded during the hour of joy but we're gonna see that later let's just continue watching it for now all right so it says step one retrieve giant from storage b and the giant in question is kissy missy yeah there you go that's kissy missy and they are relocating her there you go turned on the light and we can actually see her better <laughs> and step two is to safely secure the giant so i'm guessing like she let them secure her and they are like controllable until the prototype gets into their head and like destroys their brains or something but there we can see that she's secured and like strapped down and there's like even a little diagram on how to do that and then step three is load giant onto the train and we can see actually like a video of them loading her and the workers and what they look like. And I wonder why they were relocating Kissy Missy. And it looks like they're going to play care. And we do find Kissy Missy in the play care later. So the relocation was successful. And I wonder why they were doing that. I'm guessing she was supposed to like help the kids stay in check or something. And like, I'm not sure what her role is. Is she like moral support or something? But anyways, they're loading her onto the train. And this is when the glitches start happening. 
During step four, we can see red text that hasn't appeared before. And that's the altered part. And it says loosen the strap to binding the giant. So that's the prototype telling people what to do, like messing them up. I I'm not sure that if they actually loosened the straps or not, but maybe that is how the hour of joy began. Like the prototype gave the wrong instructions to people and they followed them and basically like screwed themselves. So le let's keep going. And that's the Kissy Missy just laying there. During the hour of joy, we can see the 10.42 a.m. at 8, 8, 1995, which we know as the date the hour of joy happened. And it was confirmed in chapter three. And then step five, and for the con conductor of the intended route, which is pop uh, play here, I believe. And they are traveling there on the train. <laughs> And here, there's a very interesting moment. Like, let me back up a bit. And this is like a little hidden message that I didn't notice the first time I was watching this video. And it's right here. It says, it says the hour of joy is at hand. So this is like the hour of joy happening. And I wonder who wrote this stuff on the wall. Was it the prototype or was it like one of the toys that he controls? And I believe that when Kissy Missy was being transferred, the hour of joy already begun. So it was basically all the toys were going amok already and they were in the tunnel and they couldn't really hear it so they didn't know that it was happening and then step six is release the straps binding the giant so they release the straps and the next thing that happens is pretty horrible well not yet but they're still like transferring her but after they do release the straps step seven because i guess they didn't the first time i'm not sure why like the train is speeding. I'm guessing it's just for like visual effects and stuff. And we see the straps released and a whole bunch of dead workers by the hand of Kissy Missy. And that is also another point that is very interesting. So Kissy Missy is able to kill people and she's capable of it basically. And when, whenever we see her, she doesn't really attack us. And that raises another question. Why didn't she attack us? Because she's clearly as bad as Huggy Wuggy, right? Well, I do not think so. I think that she was being controlled by the prototype. And when we saw her, the prototype released the control and made her like basically be her normal self. However, in the very end, the last time we see Kissy Missy, I think he takes the control back because we already killed Catnap and he needs another person to do his bidding. So he basically started controlling Kissy Missy again. And after that, it just says footage missing. So I'm guessing it's like some, there's some interesting footage that is supposed to be there, but it's just missing. And yeah, that's it for the video. And then there's like a, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's basically it. So yeah, I believe that video answers the question of why nobody was able to stop the prototype from doing the Arrow of Joy, basically. Because he is able to control footage and other like toys. So he altered a whole bunch of footage and making people think that everything is okay. And making other people like even do his own bidding as well by altering like the instructions so that's a really clever plan on the prototype's part and that makes the prototype like really really clever and i'm wondering if he's tricking us as well right now like maybe the prototype is ollie but that is for another video that i have planned as well and that's gonna be really interesting so make sure to stay tuned for that and definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video and as for this theory this is it my name is oshi and peace out bye